Still, the Home Affairs Ministry has issued an advisory to migrant workers living in dormitories, urging them to steer clear of extremist activities. It followed last month's knife attack in France against a French teacher. Now, the advisory, which was issued in four languages, stated that Singapore has zero tolerance for any acts of violence. It added that anyone who incites it, even on social media, may be jailed, fined or banned from entering Singapore. Our workers were also told not to take part in or organise activities related to the terror-linked incidents in France. If counselling or guidance is needed, workers should approach their dormitory managers, employers and religious leaders. A dormitory operator here that houses more than 10,000 workers but didn't wish to be named says measures are in place to encourage religious harmony and tolerance. Its calendar of events include celebrations of all major religions to encourage racial and religious harmony. During the fasting month, non-Muslim residents are invited to break fast with their Muslim counterparts to promote inter-religious cohesion. It adds that it works closely with the Islamic Religious Council of Singapore, or MUIS, with prayer leaders within the community identified, trained and counselled by the organisation. Okay. We advise them on to why they are here, uh, which is uh, focusing on that, uh, that particular things that they are, they are here for, which is to work and to earn and, and to bring that income and to help their family. Uh, and, and not to bring uh, that, that kind of religious affair and stir up things in Singapore where, where it's coming from the outside ideologies. We have a place that they can come and confide in us. Uh, we can talk about it and we are very open to, to discuss on ideologies that uh, might uh, be a question for them.